TechRidge here, here to do a video about getting a relatively fully functioning Instagram experience on your computer for Windows. As one can see, there is a Windows Store version of the Instagram app, but it is terrible. They only recently added the messaging feature, making it only slightly better than the website version over here that does not even have the messaging service. But you can still not view live stories or even upload pictures to your profile with both the legitimate app or the web version, making this Instagram experience relatively useless because one of the main functions of Instagram is to upload pictures. But I'm here to tell you how to get a web app for Instagram with most of the functions to imitate how it is on your phone. If you're like Darth Sidious, you like fully functional things, but rather than a fully operational battle station, we want a fully operational Instagram. To do so, make sure you have the newest version of Edge installed. This one is this logo right here, instead of the single colored E that was on the previous version. After that, make sure to go to Instagram.com. Once you do that, hit these three little dots up here, go to apps, and install this site as an app. Then hit install, and now it brings you up to this new page where it is similar to other apps where you can click your profile and then you can go back, but it's still basically just the website version. As you can see, there is no messaging feature. So we're gonna want to add these features in. And how do we do that? We add it through Chrome extensions. So what you're going to want to do is open up the Chrome store and you're going to first, if you have not done this already, allow extensions from the Chrome Web Store to Microsoft Edge. And you're just gonna click up here to allow this and now you can download extensions. So the first one we're going to want to do is download IG Stories for Instagram, which will be in the description. So let's hit Add to Chrome. This application will allow us to view live stories on people's profile. So now that that's installed, we're going to want to move to the menu so that annoying little icon is gone. Now, we're going to want to have the function to upload pictures to our Instagram. So we're gonna download the extension for Instagram. We're gonna add this to Chrome. We're gonna hit add extension. And now we're going to do the same thing and move it to our menu. We're gonna open up this app again. We're gonna hit exit. Then we're gonna open it back up. And now once it loads, you see we have the plus icon. So now we can hit the plus icon, open up a picture. And once we take it into the Windows mode, we're able to add some filters to it. We're gonna able to go next and share it. And once it loads, as you can see, the picture is now shared. You can also do some other things to this app, such as adding a dark theme or any of these other settings right here. Now, of course, there are other ways of getting Instagram without adding this app version. Take for example, app for Instagram where you can add this to Chrome and once this is added it shows up a little bar to the side but if you really want a relatively full Instagram experience the way I outlined will give you the most options with Instagram stories and posting images all in its own little web app where you can open up without having to first go to your web browser and of course it, this app can be placed on your desktop, on your start menu, or wherever you would like to choose. Thank you so very much for listening. As all YouTubers ask, please subscribe and like this video. I was recently able to become monetized again because of your support, because I needed a thousand subs, and now I've reached that point. So thank you guys so very much for allowing this. So this has been a tech-rich video. Peace out.